You're the one, yes. Not like the scabs that exited the shuttle with you. You radiate power, Lord, I bow before you. I serve Lord Barris. He sent me to meet his new apprentice, and I made sure I was here on time. I certainly did, yes, indeed. So, I'm met. Now what? I'm just a slave who owes his every breath to the tolerance of Lord Barris. He said to introduce you to Droman Kass, and I take that seriously. with this. I don't have all day. Right away. You don't have to tell me twice. Lord Barris ordered me to encourage you to explore Cast City before reporting to him. Imperials maintain the order, but they won't bother you. When you're ready, Lord Barris will meet you in his personal chambers. You, uh, you will tell Lord Barris I was good? Yes? That I served well? You did exactly what you were told. You have my thanks, gentle juggernaut. I bow my head until you depart. Wow, what a weasel. Drummond Cast needs some pest control. We're moving on. Keep up. Dromond Kos, where freedom goes to die, and legends are forced on the galaxy. Destination? Enjoy your stay.
Not a minute too soon. Your timing is impeccable. Did it just get considerably colder? I see you decided to keep the slave. I hope she amuses you. I trust you've been acquainting yourself with your new environs. Did my minion point you in the right direction? His pointer finger was a bit twitchy. A byproduct of constantly fearing for his life. But it keeps him in line, doing the trivial tasks that need tending to. Your responsibilities will mandate contact with my various minions, meet my directives, and you may do as you will to anyone you encounter, adversary or ally. You can trust that I'll use good judgment, Master. I have painstakingly built a vast network of spies and operatives embedded throughout the Sith, Republic and Jedi alike. You are dismissed. Ready for departure. Right, man, let's hurry up and get this hunk. Right, man, let's hurry up and get this hunk of carbonite to its owner. Hey, Captain Olivius. Boo. Oh, I, I didn't see you enter. Lord Barris didn't need to send a welcoming party. Obviously, Lord Barris feels otherwise. My men and I have performed much more dangerous duties for Lord Barris. The prisoner is frozen in carbonite, so it's not a flight risk. And this is friendly territory. Surely we're safe here. There is no such thing as friendly territory. No offense, my lord. That brand of paranoia may work for Lord Barris, but I don't subscribe to it.
It's unfortunate, but we must humor the old man. Glad to find another sensible being here. Let's get this oversized block of ice to your master. Not so fast. My master ordered that block of ice. So step away from the carbonite man and no one ends up in a grave. Your master is going to be disappointed. Perhaps I didn't make myself plainly clear. I'm here to relieve you of your burden. Whether that includes your own lives as well is up to you. Looky, looky. If it ain't Slestak, your master be wanting the Froze Man too, huh? Too bad for you. It mine. Too bad for both of you. Ah, quite the popular trophy. The competition should be fierce. If you not flee, you about to learn fierce, Slestak. I'm such a fool. I'll never doubt Lord Barris again. What do we do? These gents look reasonable. We'll reason with them. Tuma and his mates can't even spell reasonable. All me gotta be able to spell is kill. K-Y-Y-Y-L. He convinced me. I think Tuma can kill you, Slestak. Very amusing. I do relish the opportunity to rid the world of Tumar and his drones. So I'll be with you presently, Instigator. Come on, boys! We smash the talk from Slestak's big mouth now! Done. While they fight, my men and I will deliver the prisoner to Lord Barris. Thank you for buying us time, my lord. Destination? Franklin informed me of the ambush at the cargo port. Apparently there are more eyes on us than even I thought. I have felt a disturbance in the Force. It leaves doom imprinted on my dreams. 
a grave and mysterious threat that could bring down my entire power base. This frozen man is a top Republic agent captured while investigating my most deeply embedded spy on Nar Shaddaa. One of my invisibles, the Force grants me a vision of doom. And immediately, my untraceable spy, who has left no footprints, no trail, is almost exposed. It makes me furious. Maybe your spy wasn't so invisible after all. Do not presume to tell me my business. There's no profit in it. I must learn what tipped off the Republic agent. He is the key to uncovering the nature of this threat. Now, while I saw the prisoner and painfully siphon every morsel of information I can from him, I have some concerns that require your special talents. I'd like to stay and watch the torture, my lord. Uh, yuck. Please, no. You can watch me torture the next prisoner. Go to the Imperial Post in the jungles outside the city. Commander Pritch is stationed there. He has a seek and destroy task for you. I don't take orders from lackeys. Pritch is merely relaying information, Apprentice. I must tend to the torturing of this miserable Republic agent. Waste no time. I have more for you to do once this is complete. You are dismissed. Mm-hmm. 
Commander Pritch at your service, my lord. Lord Barris informed me you'd be paying us a visit. I'm prepared to offer full assistance. Aren't you a good little soldier? Lord Barris has always found me so, Lord. Permit me to update you on the situation here. There's been much unrest in these parts recently, my lord, capped off by a violent slave revolt that has the surrounding jungles overrun with armed slaves. Then they're not slaves anymore, are they? I stand corrected, my lord. Former slaves. What no one knows is that Lord Barris orchestrated the insurgents to disrupt one of his rivals, and he wants his involvement kept secret. Now the slave captains who led the revolt are threatening to expose Barris's involvement unless they receive more potent weapons. Slaves, they're never satisfied. Having been a slave for a period of time, I'd say that's an understatement. You think they know better than to blackmail a Sith Lord? Lord Barris wants you to kill enough of the blackmailing slave captains to make the others lose their resolve. I'll kill everyone I see. Sure glad I've been liberated. Slaves are scattered throughout the area, but the captains tend to congregate near the unfinished Colossus. I'll wait here for your return. Takes guts to sit here and wait, don't you think? Take it up with the commander. I'm sure he'd appreciate the constructive criticism. No, I think I'll let him live in shame.
music show. That drill just lit up the night. Here's the credits, as promised. My lord, you've returned. I take it many slave captains have died this day. Their next of kin won't be able to identify them. I shudder to imagine their fate. I must stay, my lord. It's been inspiring watching you work. Prostrate yourself elsewhere, Imperial. I'm sorry if I've angered you. I'll inform Lord Barris that the situation has been handled. is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. I don't care what you do. Break my bones. Burn my flesh. I'll tell you nothing. I will not be denied. Go spit! You monster! I didn't know bodies could bend like that. I think I'm gonna be sick. Don't empty your stomach on my boots. Ah, Apprentice, you've returned. Commander Pritch confirmed that the slaves have been silenced. Good. I'm still trying to extract the information I crave from this Republic agent. He is much more resilient than anticipated. I'm interested in helping. All I require is time. Just leave me to my work. I have another important task for you. It involves a renegade Sith Lord named Grathen, a particularly bothersome thorn in my side. Meet with my apprentice, Dracul Ball. He's my covert operative in Grathen's compound. Ball claims to have made a key discovery. Invading a Sith compound is my kind of work. Grantham's presence is useful to me, so I don't want him killed, just crippled. Find out what Ball has discovered, and do exactly as he instructs. Too bad. I would love to kill a Sith Lord. No doubt someday you will have your chance to try, one way or another. Now then, Republic wretch, where were we? Oh, yes. Tell me what I wish to know.
destination. Enjoy your stay. Must be the operative Lord Barris sent. I thought he'd choose a stealthy assassin, not some senseless savage. Watch who you're calling a savage. You're not talking to one of Barris's Imperial peons. I'll be working for Lord Barris long after you've worn out your welcome. Care to put that theory to the test? We've got business to handle. With the entire complex roused, we'll have to get in each other's faces another time. Now listen. Lord Grathen is a rogue Sith who boldly defies the Dark Council. Locked away here, he's been untouchable. Lord Barris wants to let Grathen know he can be reached. And after a year undercover, I've discovered the way. Lord Grathen has a son. Maybe in another year, you can find out his shoe size. He wears boots, not shoes, smart mouth. I was assigned to find Grathen's weakness. He's kept his son a secret in order to protect him from his enemies. Grathen would be devastated if his only child and heir was dead. That would send a message. Just tell me where he is. You'll have to be more than a messenger. Grathen's kid is nearly 20 and strong with the Force. He's been trained in the ways of the Sith since birth. You'll have your hands full. I'll fill my hands with his entrails. My, how graphic. You're a true Vulgarian. Grathen's away on business. I managed to hack a special spike that will get you inside his private quarters. But first you're going to have to knock out Grathen's surveillance station so you aren't seen entering the quarters. What do I care if I'm observed? The surveillance system is also a sophisticated defense network. 
If you don't destroy the system before entering the private chambers, you'll never make it. All you have to do is locate the monitoring stations around the compound and, well, stick your lightsaber in them. Think you can handle that, brute? Keep calling me names, Bore. You're playing with fire. Is it so easy to get under your skin? That's all then. Destroy the monitoring stations, then get inside Grathen's private quarters. The son's name is Beelslit. Find him and end him. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Try not to screw up. I kind of like his attitude. Mother, a stranger approaches. You don't know the half of it, kid. I am Sylvanta Grafton. How dare you enter my son's room uninvited? Who are you? My name won't matter when you're dead. You'll find I'm not so easily intimidated. My son is still an acolyte, but I am Sith. Beelslit, take cover. No, Mother! I stand at your side! Attack! Clear we are not your match. If we're to die, I must know. What have we done to deserve death? Ideal death to the deserving and undeserving. Then perhaps I can persuade you to set your sights elsewhere? You have fought your way into the inner sanctum of a powerful Sith Lord stronghold. You are a breath away from the Master himself. Spare us, and I'll help you destroy Lord Grafton instead. You want me to kill your husband? Aren't you the dutiful wife? I married Lord Grafton for power. It was a means to an end. Now I want out. I'm strong, but can't touch my husband. How long I've waited for someone to end his oppressive rule. You have my attention. A wicked plan is taking shape. Long ago, my husband was nearly beheaded. Now, he cannot exist without his helmeted mask. Everyone knows this. Kill Lord Grafton. My son will wear the mask and assume his mantle. He'll publicly rant that his son was murdered. No one will be the wiser. I don't negotiate. The boy dies. Fields lit. Run! Uh, no, Mother. If I am to die, I die alongside you. <laughs>
I'm surprised you survived. So is it done? Is Gratham's son dead? I didn't even break a sweat. Somehow I doubt that. Doesn't say much for Gratham's security forces if a clumsy clod like you was able to bang into his private chamber and off his son. Why didn't you back up that mouth with action? That's exactly what I had in mind. Killing the murderer of Gratham's son will solidify my cover here. Barris can replace you easily. Barris will be needing a new spy. I'm going to enjoy killing you. Though I'm more than capable of facing you alone, a smart man uses every advantage. And I am a smart man. The intruder! The intruder is here! Everyone to me! Attack! <laughs> lungs you've got there. Mind your tongue, or I will cut it out. Okay, I'm officially scared. This is impossible. An unknown power must be shielding this man, which only confirms my suspicions. This Republic agent is the key to unlocking the threat we face. I must harness my rage and frustration. They will lead me to an answer. Trust your feelings, Master. <laughs> the minion advises the Master. Very good. You'll demonstrate your progress. And the word has spread that Lord Grathen is incensed at the slaying of his secret son. I take it that was your handiwork? You see it correctly. My confidence in you is growing. I haven't heard from Dreykel Ball, my agent in Grathen's camp. He's missed a scheduled communication. Let me guess. He gave you trouble, did he? He left me no choice, Master. I had to kill him. Oh, no matter. He fulfilled his primary purpose. Every Sith must attempt to orchestrate his own promotion. Now, back to my prisoner. There's one last possibility to break him. I thought it impossible, but perhaps there's a small chance you could pull it off. Over a millennium past, the Emperor claimed Drummond Cass and made the Dark Temple the epicenter of Dark Force energy. In the bowels of the temple, he conducted horrifying experiments that drained the knowledge and life essence from all the greatest Sith Lords of the time. Sounds like my kind of guy. I'm sure that he would be relieved to hear that you approve. The Emperor created a device called the Ravager that ate his victims' minds and delivered to him their greatest secrets. No one could withstand the Ravager's intrusion. Even the strongest Sith Lords of the Empire confessed whatever the Emperor craved. I'm sure the Emperor has the best toys. I wouldn't call the Ravager a toy, Apprentice. It's not to be taken lightly. The Emperor keeps the Ravager hidden in the Dark Temple, which has, in his absence, become a death trap. There's a good chance the horrors that await you will be too severe. But it's worth your life to me. The legends describe a secret chamber in the depths of the Dark Temple where the Ravager was encased. You'll know the device by its inscription. Be swift, Apprentice.